In this video, we'll take a look at the atomic orbital diagram for zinc, that's Zn. And the first thing we need to do, we need to have an electron configuration for zinc so we can draw the atomic orbital. So zinc 30 is the atomic number. That means it has 30 protons. It also has 30 electrons. It's a neutral atom, so we have 30 protons and 30 electrons. Zinc is right here on the periodic table. And to write the configuration, we'll follow the pattern here until we get to zinc. We start with the first energy level. We have 1s1, 1s2. That's full. Then we go to the second energy level. We have 2s1, 2s2, and then over to 2p1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. P can hold up to 6, 2p6. Third energy level, 3s2, 3p6. We're at the fourth energy level. We have our 4s2. And then we have our 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 3d, 10. And often for these transition metals, you'll see the 4s put after the 3d10. So let's write the orbital diagram for zinc now that we have the configuration. So both the atomic orbital diagram and the electron configuration, they're trying to show where the electrons are around the zinc nucleus, the nucleus of the zinc atom. You can kind of think we have the nucleus here and then these energy levels there around the nucleus, kind of like shells. So let's draw our atomic orbital diagram here. We have 1s2, we put them in opposite directions, 2s2, so these two go in the 2s, opposite directions. We spread p out, and then we pair them up, 3s2, and then 3p6, 4s2, and finally we have 3d10, so we'll spread them out, and then pair them up. So that's the atomic orbital diagram for zinc. Sometimes it's written out like this, it's really the same thing, just in a horizontal fashion. And again, we're just trying to describe where the electrons are around the nucleus of the zinc atom. This is Dr. B with the atomic orbital diagram for zinc, Zn. Thanks for watching.